जय श्री गुरुदेव आवर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव डिटरमाइन द डायमेंशन ऑफ द कर्ड बार एज शोन इन द फिगर अज्यूम सिग्मा वाई टी फील स्ट्रेंथ इज गिवन फोर हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर एंड फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव नो दिस इज स्केच इज गिवन राइट ना आउट नो बाई सींग द स्केच सी दैट द लोड इज एक्टिंग हियर वन किलो न्यूटन दिस कोइंसाइड विथ द सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस ऑफ द जोमेट्री एंड द क्रिटिकल सेक्शन इज एक्सेक्स नो वर्ज द डायमी ऑफ द क्रॉस द वट टाइप ऑफ क्रॉस इज सर्कुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन वर्ज द डायमीटर इज डी and from the central axis to the from center center of the sorry center of the curvature to the central axis is given r is equal to 4 times of d now here unknown is d right now read out the sketch now see the read out the sketch and also write the the circular cross section with the other notations now when it is subject to f is a uh, line of action of force and central line of curvature is coincide now this is eccentric load to the cross section now this uh, due to load f is acting here that produces two types of stresses one is direct stress that f is directly transfer on the cross section arm to the cross section there is a direct load and due to force into distance now that we produce a moment bending moment x na bending moment the bending stress occur right now this is a centroidal axis now you know the neutral axis comes in between the central axis and center of curvature right when it subject to a load f now outer uh, this is inner fiber this is outer fiber now outer fiber undergoes compression inner fiber undergoes tension right now the diameter of the cross section is d then after that write the given data what are the data is given heat stress is given factor safety is given the load is given then r is equal to here rc 4 times of d now write the ri and r not what is ri ri is total r or rc minus of d by 2 r not is rc plus d by 2 once you write the given data now you see the sigma yt is given and factor safety is given now convert into allowable stress so these are the given datas right now what are the other datas huh. what are the other you know that the maximum tensors sorry yes what are the other datas see this is other this is other data one is sigma y t is given factor of safety is given now convert that into you know the factor of safety failure stress by allowable stress now determine allowable stress that allowable stress is also equal to what maximum normal stress now remaining i want to calculate dimensions here our aim is to determine what is our aim is to determine here the diameter the dimension of the cross section d right now refer the table 2.7 for circular cross section again read out the circular cross section is inner fiber outer fiber dimension in diameter of the cross section d and the inner from inner fiber to the cg centroidal axis the distance is c now from that uh, table 2.7 for circular cross section directly you get the area in terms of d c also you will get in terms of d that is equal to c1 then rc ri plus c1 then for verification just calculate it is already given now other data radius of neutral axis how do you get refer the table 25.2 for circular cross section rn is equal to this is the equation i think 25.60 now substitute r not also in terms of d r i also in terms of d then it is in a plus b whole square formula I expand that a square plus b square plus 2ab now once you solve it rn is equal to what 3.984 times of d now how do you check verify it verify rn is verify rn is less than verify rn is less than less than rc rn is less than rc right 3.9984d is less than 4 times of d 
next yeah here it is there check rn is less than rc now and then other dimension ci and c not also will get in terms of d also no eccentricity is rn rc minus rn that also in terms of d load is given 1 kilo newton and length is also given that is equal to rc from the geometry will get that then for moment is many moment is of force into distance that also will get in terms of d and due to that load eccentric load that produces two types of stress one is direct stress another one is bending stress direct stress as in force by area you also will get in terms of d square bending stress at inner fiber you know that uh, refer that uh, type now bending stress is uh, equation 25.55 you refer it is a tensile in nature no substitute you will get in terms of d square only the bending stress at outer fiber is uh, is also we get from the equation 25.54 now is a negative compressive in nature that also we get in terms of d square now after that we know that combined stress is equal to direct stress plus bending stress we know the maximum tensile stress is at inner fiber there is a combined stress max is equal to, uh, combined stress at inner fiber is equal to direct stress plus bending stress now he take what is the combined stress maximum tensile stress at inner fiber is equal to that is equal to maximum stress 114.286 now substitute here direct, substitute direct stress and bending stress now you will get diameter of the cross section is 19.91 mm approximately 20 mm then we know that maximum compressive stress uh, is at outer fiber the sigma no, sigma naught is good direct against direct stress and bending stress outer fiber take care bending stress the maximum combined stress outer fiber is good sigma max so 114.286 now substitute that values finally get d is equal to this now your negative sign take the module you will get d is equal to 70 or neglect this minus sign you will get the d value d is 17.567 now choose the larger value of cross section there is a dimension for safe design this is a 20 mm as you now come to know that for cross section dimension take the larger value when your load is applied take the smaller value thank you for watching this video